Alright, so I have bulletproof coffee that I'm going to be making as a pour over coffee today. Uh, you can see right here, uh, bulletproof. If you're not familiar with bulletproof, um, it's a rather, uh, it's a rather new type of coffee on the market right here. Uh, it's very famous. A lot of people are starting to catch on to bulletproof coffee and trying it out and seeing if it works for them. This particular, uh, bulletproof coffee is called French kick it is a dark roast whole bean coffee which I have my Kalita right here which I'm actually going to use to grind the coffee down now uh, with the uh, bulletproof French kick it has dark roast and whole bean coffee right here it has a smoky and smooth flavor uh, we're gonna get into that so we can see and taste the smoky smooth flavor in about a few minutes I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and we're gonna smell this now right here it says bulletproof is an integrated approach to mind body nutrition that helps transform the way you feel unleash limitless potential with bulletproof and on the back it says uh, shows the different types of blends that they have they have a breakfast blend which is a light roast original which is a medium roast the minimalist which is a medium dark roast and then you have the French kick which I have right here as the dark roast it's smooth medium bodied flavor with a smoky chocolate aroma we're gonna get in that and on the side they talk about how to make this particular bulletproof coffee which I'm not gonna follow this guide right here uh, for this live stream uh, it says start with eight ounces of filtered water fresh off the boil add two and a half tablespoons of ground coffee from bulletproof and brew add and this is where it comes in where they talk about adding something extra to this, which I don't have the products for on this particular video, but in the future I will. It says, add one to two tablespoons of grass-fed unsalted butter. That's kind of interesting. Uh, they ask to add butter to your coffee. I've actually had that before, butter to the coffee. It really does bring a nice flavor to it. You should try it if you haven't tried it before. And one serving of Bulletproof Brain Octane MCT oil. So that's all the rage right now. I don't have MCT oil. It says we suggest starting out with one teaspoon of Brain Octane MCT oil and gradually increasing the amount to one to two tablespoons. Blend until frothy and joy. So we're going to not do that. So we're just going to go ahead and open up the... coffee and already I could smell the aroma smell the smoky chocolatey flavor that the beans has due to the roasting go ahead and look at that okay so those are the beans inside those are the coffee beans smell quite good okay and I'm going to be adding them to my Kalita all right so I'm gonna be adding them to my Kalita coffee grinder right here all right so this is the Kalita coffee grinder it's a wood coffee grinder with um, iron at the top used for grinding the coffee. I like this, using it by hand quite often because it gives coffee a different feel. I don't know if it's all um, in my mind, but it feels like I'm actually doing something when I use my hand grinding coffee Kalita. All right, so you can see that down uh, below uh, the Kalita coffee grinder. It's a really nice thing to have all right so what happens is I add the coffee at the top which I'm going to do in a second close it grind it and it comes out at the bottom right here so let's get started with that so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and close the bottom part of the Kalita and then open right here and sometimes I can actually just pour it down in here and it works magically goes inside of the grinder but uh, sometimes I'm not often that lucky to get it all the way into the basket so I'm gonna go ahead and try this a little bit 
Pour the grinds, grinds, the beans in there. You see that? Pour the beans in there. Shake it a little bit. So this is what the beans look like. The French rose. Nice oil glistening on it right here. So those are the beans that I have in my Kalita coffee grinder. Nice looking smell. Great smoky and smooth flavor. And it has a smoky and smooth scent as well. So once I have it in the grinder right here, I'm just going to go ahead and close it. And then just grind it. Just grind the coffee. Like this. So it takes several turns, probably 10 to 20 turns. And then you have fresh ground coffee at the bottom. Now, you can make adjustments on how fine the ground coffee is. I'm not going to do it on this video, but you can make adjustments with the Kalita coffee grinder to make a finer or more coarse coffee. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to turn it maybe five more times. One, two, three, four, and five. There's probably some more grinds in here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Some more beans. It hasn't gone all the way down. Maybe I'll do those a little bit. All right, let's give it about 10 more turns and see what happens. See if they can get it done in 10 more turns. So we're going to get that in there. All right. All right, so that should be enough. Let's see what it looks like. All right. See how much coffee it produced. Tap the bottom a little bit to make sure you get all the grinds down in there so you don't get a lot of spillage. So I'm going to twist this. See, that's the coffee that it grinds. So I didn't do it quite enough. Still can make a little bit more coffee. So I guess I'm going to grind it up a little bit more. Let's see what we get. All right, so just grinding the coffee. If you're just joining in, this is French Cake by Bulletproof. Grinding up the coffee. Just like that. Pretty cool. Alright, that should be enough. Alright, so we ground up the coffee. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring over my Kalita. Alright. Kalita, I'm going to be making pour over coffee right here so I'm just gonna stack the two I'm gonna go ahead this is the Kalita wave if you're not familiar with the Kalita wave right here and this is the Kalita car Kalita car Rita <laughs> said it's a little bit of tongue twister right there and I'm also going to be using the Kalita wave coffee paper filters all right so I'm gonna be going ahead and doing that so that's the Kalita wave right here for the pour over coffee and I'm just gonna bring over the Kalita, the Kalita coffee filters. These are the paper coffee filters. And I'm gonna go ahead and un pull this out. Sometimes I use a double filter. It takes a little bit slower, but it gives you a more, filters more of the grinds out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place this on top. And while this is placed on top, I have my water that is sitting on a kettle. I actually have a Hario kettle, which you'll see in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and heat up the water. And while the water is heating up to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and take the grinds and twist this off of the Kalita. Just like that. All right, so we have the coffee grinds in there. Shake that. All right, so we have the coffee grinds in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here and I'm just going to place the grinds in here. So this is freshly ground coffee. I'm going to pour it in there like that. I right, got the coffee in there. So water's coming to a boil. We're going to get the water to the boil and then we're going to go ahead and pour the co coffee, the water inside of the Kalita. So this is bulletproof French kick right here and we're going to be pouring the water into it in a second. It's coming to a boil and uh, we're going to have this right here, the French kick 
smooth and smoky, smoky and smooth flavor, dark roast, whole bean, coffee. So this is going to be really good. We have it ground up in here, straight from the Kalita coffee grinder. We're going to be in action pretty soon. The coffee, uh, the water's boiling. It should be done in about maybe five seconds, and we'll be pouring it in here. Now look at the grinds in this coffee. This is what the Kalita coffee grinder did, all right? The hand grinder. It's a really different feel. It's really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and go over back over to this product right here. And there it is, the Kalita Coffee Grinder. Does it every time really well. Very consistent. Very consistent. That's one thing about it, uh, grinding the coffee. There's still some beans in here that I didn't grind up completely. You can actually see some of the beans in there. Nice and shiny. Bulletproof French kick beans. All right, so the water, I believe, is boiling. Excuse me. <clears throat> so we're just going to go ahead and pour this in here. Probably get in closer so you can see this. Now, this is pour-over coffee. There's a technique in making pour-over coffee. I'm going to show you in a second. These are the grinds that are in here. Look at that. Look at that. It smells great. There's nothing like freshly ground coffee. I don't know if you're a coffee connoisseur out there, but... Freshly ground coffee beans um, really changes the game when you're having coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and take this freshly ground French kick, smoky and smooth coffee beans ground up. I'm just going to go ahead and pour on the water. All right, so just joining in, this is French kick bulletproof coffee, uh, dark roast whole bean coffee, which I ground up. And I'm just going to go ahead and take um, my boiling water straight off the boil. So this is the Hario kettle. If you're going to be asking about it, let me go over it to it. The, the Hario gooseneck coffee kettle. Uh, kind of fancy. Not really, but it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour the coffee in. Just like that. So when you're doing pour over coffee, you have a balloon effect. You let it balloon. Let it balloon just like that. And then you're gonna let it settle. If you can hear it, you can hear the water slowly going out. So you let it settle a little bit, almost till it's all the way done. And then you go in for round two, just like this. And I like to get the edges, and this is a second balloon. And what I do with this is I fill it up almost to the brim. And just let it finish dripping. Now, if you want a stronger coffee, of course, you can add more, more uh, coffee grinds to it. See, it's dripping down in there. Nice cup of smooth tasting coffee. Smoky and smooth. That's the uh, flavor that this Bulletproof coffee has right here. It says French kick, smoky and smooth. And they're pretty accurate with that. All right, so this is the Bulletproof coffee. Just go ahead and show you really quick. Just going to let this drip, uh, the final drips, and then we'll go ahead and make the cup of coffee. But this is the French Kick Dark Roast Whole Bean Coffee. Smoky and smooth. All right, dark roast. All right, so this should be done right about now. Just going to look at it. See, there's just a little bit left in there. Let's go ahead and let that drip down in there a little bit. I have the Kalita. That's the grinder right there. This is the Kalita Wave right here. All right, so that should be done. So let's go ahead and remove this. So this is the pour over coffee maker right here. I'm gonna remove this, set this to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cup and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the cup. Smoky and smooth flavor from the Bulletproof. Let me go ahead and pour this in here. Look at that. Smoky and smooth flavor. Can smell the coffee. Look at that. Pretty cool. All right, so this is the smoky and smooth. So this is what it looks like right here. I didn't make it too strong, but uh, some days if I need a little bit uh, extra kick, I'll add a little bit more coffee grounds. Now look at that, smoky and smooth. I wish there was some way I could let you smell this through the computer screen. 
Um, smells really great. So I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of this. All right, so this is the smoky and smooth French kick. Des definitely has a smoky flavor to it. Definitely smooth, but there's notes of chocolate. A really fresh cup of coffee that you can only get with freshly ground beans. Really good. All right, so that's French kick. I think I'm gonna make another cup of coffee, but this time I'm gonna use a different brand. I have some already ground coffee. This right here is original roast coffee. Uh, this is made by Lion. <clears throat> Proudly roasting since the 1865 year. Uh, right here it says, an island favorite, original roast. This is a medium roast coffee already ground this is a well-known brand from the hawaiian islands as you can see it says the pride of the hawaiian islands right here and i'm going to go ahead and make some pour over coffee using this all right so i'm going to go ahead and do the process a little bit over again i'm going to go ahead and pour this up and drink this coffee a little bit later okay pour the coffee in right here nice and smooth all right, so we have that. And I'm going to go ahead and make this. But before we make this, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So we have the Bulletproof French Kick back there. And so now we're going to make the Lion's Coffee. The Lion Coffee. Singular. Lion Coffee. And about this coffee, it says on the back, it says two tablespoons of ground coffee. Adjust to taste. Use half the volume of water to brew coffee and add an equal amount of ice after brewing. That's if you want to make ice brewed coffee, which I have made using pour over coffee. It's actually quite good using pour over coffee as opposed to any other. It says more roar in every pour since 1864. I guess they have some poet writing this because that sounds quite nice. Lion began perfecting great tasting coffee over 150 years ago. Today we blend this history and expertise with the world's finest beans to invoke the taste and spirit, our home in the islands. Wake up with Lion, Hawaii's favorite first cup. All right, so uh, you can see the Hawaiian Islands right there, the pride of the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, that's the big island that is, what is that right there? That is Maui, that's Molokoi, Oahu, and Kauai. Just some of the islands in Hawaii. So we're going to open this up. So this is their original roast. An original roast, an island favorite. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. The top. Let's see if I can open like a bag of chips. All right, yeah, you can open it like a bag of chips. So open this up, come up to the screen. You can smell the freshly ground. It's not freshly ground, just ground coffee. Smell that pretty well. All right, it smells good. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take one more sip of my French Kick Smoky and Smooth. This is really great uh, coffee right here. Take one more sip of that, put that to the side. And we're going to get started on the Lion Coffee. I'm going to go ahead and get my pour over coffee <clears throat> made. So you have that. And I'm going to go ahead and put another filter inside of here. And <clears throat> as opposed to the dark roast, which we had with the Bulletproof French Kick Coffee, we're actually going to use a medium roast. Now it says to add two... I believe it what was it tablespoons or teaspoons to the mix. Let's see what did it say. It says uh, the instructions. I believe. Oh yeah, two tablespoons of ground coffee adjust to taste. So I have my spoon right here. Not quite a tablespoon, but I'm gonna go ahead and add this to it. I'm gonna go ahead and it says two tablespoons. I believe this is a teaspoon but we're gonna do a little bit more to make it a tablespoon. 
Alright, so we have that. We have one. And then we're going to put in the second one right here. That's two. That should be equivalent to two tablespoons. So, making a little mess right here. I'm going to turn the water on. I don't quite have enough water, so I'm going to have to add a little bit of water. Give me one second. I'm going to add some water to it. And we're going to get started with the second, the second pour of coffee. Add a little bit of water, get that started with my Hario kettle. And get that cranky right there. So we're going to get this started. The water boiling, it should take a matter of seconds as opposed to minutes to make this. But um, we're going to be cracking with the Hario kettle. And this is the Kalita Wave. This is the pour over cup right here. This is the Kalita Wave series. And then right down here, we have the Kalita, Carlita, Carita coffee server. And if you're wondering, the paper is actually Kalita as well. This is the Kalita Wave paper coffee. And if you're just joining in, we just made French kick whole bean coffee, which I'm drinking right here in my cup. See this nice smoky flavor right here. Has a nice smoky flavor. All right, so we're gonna take a sip of that really quick. So this is the Bulletproof that I just made and we're about to make the Lion Coffee in one second. Really good, smoky flavor. All right, so let's get started with this. So this is Original Roast medium ground coffee by lion all right so water's boiling and we're just going to go ahead and turn that off and bring in the hario this is the hario kettle if you're not familiar with hario this is it right here hario gooseneck nice so we're just going to go ahead and do this again we're going to do the ballooning let's come in close so you can see this a little bit better and when you're ballooning, ballooning, just go ahead and pour it in like this. Let it balloon up halfway. And just let it go ahead and dive down. Almost to it's completely out. And then you take the gooseneck, go on the top. Then do a circular motion like this to get water contacted with all of the ground beans. Just let it drip. Look at it ballooning right here. If you're familiar with pour over coffee, ballooning is to be desired. So I have this and we're just gonna let this drip down. You can see it dripping down a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour it inside of my cup that I have right here. All right, so this is the Kalita Wave series right here, the pour over coffee. Just let it drip a little bit. All right, that should be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side. So here is what it looks like. Come up to the screen, smell that. I wish I could allow you to smell this. If there was some way to smell it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it inside of my coffee cup right here. Look at that. Just go ahead and pour it inside of there. It smells so good. I'm going to go ahead and take a, t a sip of this. So this is different from the Bulletproof French Kick that I just drank. The whole bean. It smells a little different. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try this out. doesn't have the smoky flavor as the Bulletproof, but it is quite tasty. Look at that. Smell that. All right, so that is the conclusion of my live stream today on making pour over coffee. I used Bulletproof coffee to begin with, right there, the French kick whole bean, French kick, coffee 
and we conclude it with original roast coffee right here.